Hi and welcome to this tutorial which will show you how to create a mood board using Padlet. Padlet is a really useful web tool and has a whole bunch of different uses uh, and I think it's particularly good when you want it to store uh, web links or show web pages and particularly using images. So an example of um, what I'm talking about is here. Uh, this is my mood board for my Unit 6 BTEC graphics work and you can see that what I've done is I've put together a page of images, 8 and 16 bit uh, images that I'm using as inspiration for design, some designs of my own. And these are actually all links to pages but instead of just showing the, the link or the, or the written data about the page, it's presenting specifically an image from that page so it's really really visual and I can still as you can see by the fact that this turns into a pointer I can still click on any of these images and it will take me to the relevant page so if you're trying to present really visual information from websites it's a fantastic tool so it's really easy to use and I'm going to show you how now from Padlet's home screen um, and the first thing to tell you, by the way, is that you need to make sure you're using Google Chrome. It doesn't really work very well in Internet Explorer. From here, you can click Build a Wall, or to you can just click uh, the Build a Wall option there. So, but, so from Padlet.com, just click Build a Wall, and I've built my wall. And theoretically, that's it. You can actually just do it straight from there. But obviously, we want to do a couple more things. So it, it allows us, first of all, to, to modify our wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to put on a title, and a bit of information about it. So I'm going to click Modify Wall, and I can add it, add a title to my page really easy. So I'm going to call it Unit Six. Oops, Unit Six Logo New Board, and then in my description, I'm going to call it uh, Ideas for Logos. This is a really useful exercise this to do. That just so you could see at a glance what a bunch of different images will look like and you can hopefully draw inspiration from, from those images so I've done that and if I want to I can also add a little image to go at the top of my page as well so if I do that you can see there's an image appears at the top I'm going to click this one because I think it's perhaps a little bit more appropriate and I, if I wanted to I could add an image of my own um, now before I actually start I'm actually good to go now but before I start I'm just going to do a couple of little things I'm going to click the privacy tool and what I can it's a good idea to do perhaps is make this something perhaps that only you can look at so this will mean that your wall isn't visible to other people so if you click private only you and um, people you choose can can see your wall if you want to keep it private you could also if you wanted to add a password to it and I'm also going to give it a, a customized web address so this is a really useful little feature I click address and at the moment that's the link of my Padlet so it's public.com wall and then a bunch of characters there that aren't easy really to remember but what I can do is I can customize this link so if I click here and I'm going to call it uh, unit 6 logos and it's happy with that obviously if somebody else has used that uh, address you can't use it yourself so I click that click pick and you can see it's changed my URL at the top and I'm good to go now to add content to a, to a page in Padlet you've probably used one before in class but it's dead simple you just double click on the board and you can add some text or in this case what we're interested in is adding images and you can see you can add things from uh, take a photo from a webcam even upload a file or a web link now what we're going to do is add some logos and so collect our logos on this page so what I've already done is a Google image search here and I've gone I've obviously looked for the Apple logo as you can see and I've got a whole range of different logos that I can use so let's see what we would do I'm going to double click on the Apple and that will then appear and close up there and if I'm happy with that I can use it now what I'm going to do I'm not going to copy this link at the top here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click view image and then what I do is I get the link that just to the image on the page so I don't get all of that Google search information as well I just get the link to that particular image on that part of the page so we'll copy that and then I'm going to go back to my Padlet and click the link button and it says paste URL put that in 
and then I'm going to add some text to that. So I'm going to call, I'm just going to call it Apple logo. And that's all there is to it. So let's just recap. All we need to do to add a logo is very, very straightforward. We just double click on our board, pick link, and then we could find, let's do another one. Android logo. Go to the page, let's pick that one. Wait for that to appear. New image. Let's wait for it, it's been a little slow. There it is, okay. Go back to my mood board, paste the link in. Android logo. Add that one. And hopefully that one will load up in just a minute. So, and there we go. Not quite as good as the other one, but you can see that it still works. It pastes my image there. So using Padlet is really, really straightforward. And all you need to make sure that you do is to keep a note of your link to your Padlet. And that you copy and paste that perhaps into a Google Drive document or make a note of it. And then you can continue to add text and content to that very very easily. So that's just a short run through of how to create a simple mood board using Padlet.